Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you the swipe keyboard on the Motorola Atrix 4G. Now, normally when you bring up your keyboard, you know, it's just your regular keyboard here, and you have to enable swipe on it. So we're going to go back to the home screen here, and we're going to go to the menu button, which on the Atrix is on the far left. And we're going to click settings here. Now, not all Android phones have swipe keyboards. This phone happens to have it. If your phone has it, you might want to enable it because it'll make typing on your keyboard a lot easier. Now, what you want to do is you want to go all the way down to the language and keyboard selection in your settings here. Click on that. And you have a couple of options here. And you see swipe here, swipe settings. I'm going to click on that. Now here are the swipe settings. You have language here. It's probably going to default to English. Yes, so I'm going to leave it there. It also works in Spanish. Word prediction. Predict words when typing and swipe. I'm going to click that on just to try it out. Auto feedback. Turn on sounds from swipe. I'm going to leave that off. Vibrate on key press. I kind of like that, so I'm going to put that on. Enable tip indicator. Turn on flashing indicator for quick help. I'll leave that on because that's selected. Swipe advanced settings. Auto spacing. Auto capitalization, those are both checked. Show complete trace, I'm going to do that so it'll show you how it works in this video here. And word choice window, how often word choice window displays. Um, we're just going to leave it on that because I don't know what that is. Speed versus accuracy, how quickly swipe responds to input. Uh, we're going to leave that on the default as well. Then you've got help down here, swipe help, tutorial, and version. I'm going to click on the tutorial here. Now you get the multi-touch keyboard or the swipe. We're going to click on swipe here and we're going to touch here to start. Now it says welcome to the swipe tutorial. This short tutorial will show you how to input text faster. Using swipe instead of tapping each key you just trace a path through the letters of the word. Tap the next button to begin the tutorial. Tap next and watch the keyboard as we write swipe is quick. I'm going to bring this closer here so you can see it. And I'm going to click here. Now you see the line tracing there? Is Q U I C K. Tap next and watch the keyboard as we write swipe is quick. Okay, we did that, and that is simple. Tap next to continue. In this section, you will swipe words. When you see that ASCII arrow there, it means we're waiting for you to input a word. We'll start by showing you how you can enter the word quick. Tap next to begin. So I'm going to do that. Watch as we enter the word quick. So you see how it's just drawing right through there and tap next now you try it trace the word quick on the keyboard so Q U I C K it says congratulations you were successful if you'd like to try again tap the back button and continue to tap the next button we don't need to try that again that's how easy it is to enter words with swipe now we'll show you how to enter words with double letters. Tap the next button to continue. Tap next and watch how a path is traced to enter the word soon. Okay, so you make a little circle in the letter and that's a double letter. So it says you just do a quick back and forth scribble on the O to generate a double letter. Tracing a small loop on the key works too. So you can do an O or you can just do a scribble. So we're going to tap next on here. Now I'm going to try it. We're going to do soon. So we're going to start with the S, go to the O, do a little back and forth, and then back to, to the end down here. Congratulations, you were successful. If you'd like to try again, no I don't. Let's go forward on this. Next we'll show you how to enter a capitalized word. You can capitalize the word by sliding your trace path above the top row of the keyboard and then sliding back down to the next letter. Tap next continue. We'll see how that works. Okay, they're going to do the word quick. 
So we're going to tap on that. So he went above. Okay. I see how it works. See how the trace path went above the keyboard after the first letter. And the keyboard flashes to uppercase when you shift a letter like this. All right. So that's how you do it. Now you try it. All right, we're going to start with the Q, and then we're going to go above the keyboard, and then U, I, C, K. There we go. Congratulations, you got it. If you'd like to try again, no, I don't. Let's go to the next one. When you trace a path that closely matches more than one word, swipe may not be sure which word you meant. Swipe will show you a menu of four words so you can choose the one you want. Sometimes you may need to select the arrow to see more words on the second page of the menu. Okay, so that's if it doesn't know what you're typing, it'll give you some options. Try this example. Enter the word pit by tracing a path from P to the T, then selecting pit from the menu that appears. Okay, all right, let's try it. P to T, P to T. So we've got some options here. Put, pot, pout, and pit. Select pit. Great, you're successful. If you'd like to try again, no I don't. Let's go to the next one. Swipe produces a quick and easy way to correct any word it gets wrong. You finished entering pit, so our example will use that word. Okay, let's go next. Suppose you had entered the text, don't pit it off till tomorrow. You notice you meant to write put, not pit. To fix the error, double tap on pit and choose put from the menu. You can teach swipe new words. To add a new word, simply tap it in. Press and hold to get additional characters on each key. Tap next to continue. Try it now. Tap in the letters of Bob, B-O-B. Then tap hold the key with four on it and lift off when the four pops up. Finish by tapping the space key. All right, let's try that out. B O B four and then the space key. Okay, congratulations, you were successful. If you'd like to try again, tap the back button to continue, tap the next button. So I guess I just added Bob into the dictionary there. Now that we have taught swipe a new word, Bob 4, let's enter it by tracing a swipe path. Just trace Bob 4. Okay, so it was Bob 4. All right. B-O-B-4. I see. All right, let's go to the next one. For our next tip, we'll show you how to enter in words with punctuation, such as can't, it's, or dot com. To enter these words, just trace over the letters of the word, including the punctuation which might be on the key with a letter. Okay, that's interesting. Tap next and watch the keyboard as we swipe the word we're, like we are. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so you just swipe over the punctuation, and it's going to have me do it now. W E. H-V-R-E. Congratulations, you got it. All right, let's go to the next one. For common punctuated suffixes, lift off between the suffix and the main part of the word. Tap next and watch the keyboard as we swipe the word mans. Okay. Okay. So... In the case of man's, I guess you lift off at the apostrophe. So let's try that. M A N apostrophe S. Okay. Let's go to the next one. Ah, finally the end of this. We'll end by showing the entry of the word quick one more time. This will show you how fast you might trace a path for quick once you have used swipe for a little while. Tap next and we'll show you. Let's see. Oh wow, that was quick. <laughs> 
as you can see with swipe you don't need to be very accurate so they missed the eye on that one and it's still new which is interesting and it actually ended on the L so it's gonna have me do it what does this mean it means you can trace paths very quickly because you don't have to be very accurate so as long as you're usually getting the words you try to enter try going faster okay makes sense those are the main elements of swipe to get tips or help at any time just tap and hold the swipe key which is down here in the lower left hand corner of the keyboard you also can go to our website at www.swipeinc.com both contain a lot of shortcuts and tips to make swipe more efficient go ahead and exit the tutorial and have fun with swipe All right. So that is that, and let's get out of here, and we're just going to go to a text message here. All right, I think I have swipe enabled here because it's in the lower left-hand corner here. All right, we're going to try and enter in a message here, so we're going to do hello, H-E-L-L-O, hello, space, YouTube, Y-O-U-T-U-B-E. Look at that. Hello, YouTube. Pretty cool. Now we're going to finish it off with a voice to text on here just to change things up. That's good enough. All right. Thank you for watching my videos. There we go. Hello YouTube, thank you for watching my videos. Now I wonder why it used Vingo there and not, or Vlingo there, and not uh, the Google voice to text. But it doesn't matter, it worked either way. So that is how you use Swipe. I took you through the tutorial, I showed you how to use it with a simple message, and that pretty much does it for this video. So I will see you next time.